into my desk tour slash desk organization and I also threw in some study tips in there because I know a few of you have either started school or are about to start school so hopefully this video comes in time and that it is helpful so in this video I'm gonna show you guys how to keep your workspace very minimal but also very functional okay so let's just get started first let me just give you an overview of the desk situation so this is how my desk looks like it's very minimal I try to keep things kind of cutesy but not too girly or at least in my opinion I don't think it's too girly because Juan and I we share our workspace but I think he thinks that it is <laughs> but it's okay we will work on it starting with the top left corner which you will see my calendar right over there I love this calendar because it looks super minimal but it's not just your typical plain white calendar I can write a lot of notes on there if I had to do more than one thing in that day I can fit two things on that list and I also really like how on the side there's the notes section so I can either write my grocery list on there or just anything that I find is important for me to remember. So that is my calendar situation and then right below that I have my filing cabinet. I just basically got this acrylic tray that happens to fit these filing hanging folders perfectly so I have that all set in there. So tip number one to getting organized is to get a filing cabinet because this will save your life, okay? On mine it says receipts, bills and medical records, but of course you can change yours up to however it makes sense to you. For example, you can put homework handouts, study guides. You just want to make sure everything stays organized so that every time you get your work back from your teacher, you can file everything in this cabinet so by the time finals come around, you can just go back to your notes and refresh your memory. <laughs> Down here I have this beautiful acrylic tray. On this tray I try to keep it minimal as well. Right at the bottom I just have some clean white blank paper and then on top of it I have this picture frame. But it's really nice to just have some kind of picture frame or like a poster that has an inspirational quote in it or maybe a picture that just makes you happy. So this picture I actually just printed it for free on Google. And then I have a paperweight. It's just a W that stands for my name or probably Wa's name. I just like to have it there because the gold makes makes me feel happy. And then I have this to-do list pad. I don't know if you guys have seen this in the vlogs, but I mentioned it when I first purchased it. I really like a to-do list. It's different from writing things on your calendar because sometimes you may not look up to your calendar, but also for me, I tend to remember things if I write it twice or three times. So even if I wrote something on my calendar as a reminder, I like to have a to-do list pad so I know exactly what I need to do that day and check everything off. Also, I have another tip for my sisters and brothers who get really stressed out in school, even if you don't get extremely stressed out, this is just a nice way to unwind and really Legs. And that is to listen to an audiobook. So whether you commute to school or commute to work, it's always nice to just listen to something. You can plug it in your car, you can plug it in your earphone. So when you're on the bus or on the train, you can listen to something that just helps unwind you besides music. My personal favorite would be audible.com. And shout out to my friends over at Audible. Thank you guys for supporting my channel and for giving me this coupon code for you guys. If you guys want to listen to a free book, I have my link, which is audible.com slash Whaley. That's where you can get your free book and I'll also leave the link down below but if you're new to audible it's basically an audio book site or app I like to use it on my app so first you go on the website and you can download whatever book you want you can narrow it down by categories such as the New York Times bestsellers which is personally my favorite those are the most highly rated or popular books so I like to go through there or you can just go to the audible bestsellers and see what they have picked out as for the book I am listening to, it is The Martian. I really like books like this because it's basically about this guy that goes off into space with his teammates and something happens. I don't want to get into too much detail. I'm still getting into the book, but that's just kind of a little summary for you guys. Be sure if you guys want to listen to a free book, check out my link. I will have that link down below. And now moving along to the rest of my desk. Here I just have a collection of some of my favorite books. and. Honestly, I mean favorites as in they are cute, like they have the cutest cover. <laughs> right above the book, I have a camera. Yes, I like to spy on my children, aka my animals, whenever I head out. Whenever I'm out, I can check on my phone and just make sure everything is going fine and dandy. And in between, I just have two other books. One of them is just a notebook. It's a floral notepad. I haven't really used this one just because I have a habit of collecting notebooks. It doesn't really serve a purpose as of right now because I have a 
lot of notebooks I still need to finish up. Right next to that is my travel journal. On the first page, I have a journal entry of when I went to Hawaii for my birthday. I also hung out with Hart and Arnold while I was there because we just happened to be there at the same time. We took some pictures and I also have the bus ticket from Maui. Moving on, this is my journal. If any of you are ever feeling super stressed in school, journaling, even though it's old school, let me tell you girl, it really makes a difference in how you feel about life. No matter how stressful my day was, I still try to find the time in the day to write in my journal and just appreciate the good things that happened that day. That way I don't go to bed focusing on the negative. It can be something so simple as you had a meal to eat because you know what? A lot of people don't have good food to eat. So if you had that, that is something worth journaling about. Now moving on to my pencil holder. On the top, I just keep my pens and uh, pencils, sharpies, and this pen right here, this Minnie Mouse pen though. Whenever you click it, Minnie Mouse, her body like pops out. And I just think it's really cute. And then right at the bottom, that's where I fit my phone. Good thing for me, I'm still on that iPhone 5S game, so it fits in this cup. So let's continue to move along. Here I have this painting that actually belongs to Wall. Well, it's not a painting, it's an art print. We got it one time when we were at the 626 night market back when we lived in LA. I think a part of me put it there just so I can make Wall feel like, yeah, this is a part of your desk too, yeah, you know. And then I also have a candle because everybody needs a candle in their life. I just put it there because it's a nice pop of orange. Which actually brings me to my next tip. If you have some kind of stress relieving candle or some type of like scent that helps relaxes you, put it on your desk because whenever you're working and you're deep in thought, it's very nice to have something that can help de-stress you. The drawers are very shallow, so I couldn't put a lot of things in there, which actually works in my favor because that helps me keep everything very nice and minimal. In the first drawer, I have a notebook. This notebook is super cute because anything with donuts on it is super cute and it is a huge notebook. So for me, whenever I need to study, Reading alone does not help a sister, okay? I would read the material, but then tomorrow I wake up and I'm like, poof! So what I used to do for studying is I would get my book, I would highlight things that are key, I would also transfer that material onto my notepad. And I really like to do bullet points because that helps me break down all the important things that I really, really need to remember. The more you write it down, the more you highlight things, the more it creates like a picture in your mind and that really helps me remember things. And next I have this little sticky pad. This is just like post-it notes. If you always tend to forget your PE clothes or if you have a block schedule and you forget to bring your book for that certain day, then make yourself a mental note on a post-it. If you are super duper forgetful like I am, you can write it first on your calendar then write it on your to-do list pad, and then write it on this post-it note and stick it somewhere that you can see. Every day before you leave for school, you remember, you look at the list and you're like, oh girl, I need to bring my PE clothes. So you remember to bring your PE clothes or you remember to bring your math book or something. So also in this drawer, I have um, this little notebook. Again, this is just my collection of notebooks. It doesn't really serve a purpose. I have some nail files in here so I can just file my nails whenever something breaks and we can move along with life. In the next drawer, I have my planner, which brings me to the next tip, and that is to have a planner that you bring with you to school every day. Write down what needs to get done. I really like this planner because it's huge. I can write a lot of materials in there. And I also have another notepad. This goes with my collection of notepads because I just like to collect them. I have this cute little duck whiteout that I got from the dollar store. It don't work, girl. It's a bad whiteout, but it's cute, so it's there. And everybody gotta have a pair of scissors for whatever reason, so that's in there for that reason. But next to the desk, I have this little setup over here. It's super plain, I'm still working on it, but this will do for now. I just have a flower over here because flowers just make everyone so happy. Below it, I just have a picture frame that says, Hustle, again, I printed this off of Google. If you look up close, it looks real cheap, but it's okay. Whenever I'm just having a bad day or feeling uninspired, I look at that and I'm like, girl, you go hustle, you do your thing. And then right below it, I just have these two filing boxes, which to be honest, is just filled with junk. Yep. We all have to have a space for junk. So that concludes it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this desk tour. If you guys do like this video, please remember to give it a thumbs up. I would really appreciate your support. Be sure to subscribe to my channel if you guys want to see this space more. I mean, do you? And I will see you guys in my next video. Okay.
Goodbye, everyone. Two. So I was thinking, I was like, you know, we need to have a child or something, but girl, that ain't happening. But um, I was just thinking about that, like how much entertaining would it be to have a child in a video? Like they just do such cute, funny things. But for sure, you know, we're not playing.